This is the conversation between me and my nursing manager on my unit. Very casual. Hey boss, I wanted to talk to you about a couple of ideas that I had. Um, if you don't mind giving me a minute. Okay. Well, um, currently our self-scheduling system works as so. Um, we all come into the unit and schedule on paper. It works on a seniority system and we each have eight hours to do so. For instance, person number one, they schedule within the eight hours, they're done, they call the next person. From that phone call, the next person has eight hours to schedule, but they have to come up to the hospital to do so. You know how it works. Well, some issues we're running into is that it's just not feasible for some people to drop what they're doing and drive up to the hospital to make a schedule. People have children. A lot of people are in school. You know, we have stuff going on outside the hospital, of course. Um, I've spoken to many coworkers about this, and they all agree with the same frustrations that I have. I have some ideas, though, to go along with my complaints. A system that we're already using, our timekeeper system, can actually be utilized to self-schedule. We all have username setups. I've spoken with IT. We can access this. It's no additional cost. It takes a little bit of teaching. I'd be willing to do it if you would like me to. Um, the benefits, however, would be that this system we can access from any computer that has internet, therefore eliminating us having to drive up here to make our schedule, eliminating people skipping us, eliminating human errors like so. Um, two different ways we could utilize it, the same system we're doing. Each person has eight hours starting from person one going down. They log in, they make their schedule within that eight hour window. Once that eight hour window is over, it actually does not allow them access to the self-scheduling. It moves forward to the next person. Everybody has a set time. Or we could use a system of teams, Team A, Team B, Team C, etc. Um, starting with Team A, they actually have a week to make their schedule. Then it goes to Team B. It locks out after that week. You know, it prevents people from skipping other people. But it allows a little bit more than eight hours to sit down and make your schedule because, let's face it, sometimes when you get that phone call and you have eight hours to make your schedule, you have no idea what's going on in your life at that moment. So it creates a little bit more of time for us to sit down and think, okay, what do I really want to work the next month? Um, these are just a few ideas I have. Like I said, it's no additional cost, just a little bit of teaching, and it's using a resource that we already have, so why not? I think that at our next meeting, we should all sit down, vote, discuss, see if anybody else has any other ideas. What do you think? You think it's a good idea? I thought you would. <laughs> Thanks for your time. You're a great boss.